بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہائی ایوری ون ویلکم ٹو جی ایف ایکس فرحان ان دس ویڈیو آئی ول شو یو ہاؤ ٹو میک ڈرائی آئی اسموک افیکٹ ان ہوڈینی نائنٹین دا پروسیجر از ویری سمپل ایون بگینر کین فالو ٹو بفور اسٹارٹنگ ایف یو آر نیو ٹو دا چینل پلیز سبسکرائب مائی چینل اینڈ پریس دا بیل آئیکن سو یو ول ریسیو اے نوٹیفیکیشن وین آئی اپلوڈ اے نیو ویڈیو so let's get started first of all let me show you the result that we are going to make this is our final result lovely and cool actually i render this in low quality and low resolution because i have low spec pc this is my whole setup i have already modeled this cup this is not a modeling tutorial but i quickly show you the setting of my cup first i add a geo node and open it then i add a sphere this is my sphere settings then i add clip node and direction to minus 1 then i add subdivision node its depth 2 then i add a transform node and transform it a little bit up to 2.5 then i add a poly extrude node this is my poly extrude node setting i also add front group and back group and then again add a subdivide node for bottom i add a tube node this is setting then i group the bottom then i add a poly extrude node and uh, extrude it little bit by inserting minus 0.2 and uh, select group to group 1 i again add a poly extrude node extrude little bit more then i again add a poly extrude node and this time i extrude this and this is my fourth poly extrude and extrude in y direction like this then i add a poly split node which is also called edge loop you can find it in polygons and edge loop then i again add a edge loop one here and one in center this is necessary for sub for adding subdivision if you not add this if i close this and add a subdivide node then it look like this if i on this then it look like this add a subdivide node with depth 2 and transform it to the ground level actually i first complete this part and then this part now here i add a null and uh, name it out cup for smoke because we import this in a smoke node and then i merge these together something like this add a color node and again a null which is out cup then i again add a geo node and name it dry eye smoke first i add a sphere with radius of 0.5 in y and again clip it to minus 1 in y direction then add subdivide for adding detail then add a polyfill node for closing this geometry then i add a remesh node for adding more detail and my target size is 0.025 then i transform it to my cup level like this 
and uh, also add a pivot translation dollar c e x dollar c e y dollar c e z which is used for pivot point in center then i add a normal node and add point normals then add a smooth node and select n not p then i add a mountain node and this is my mountain node settings then i add vdb from polygons and change the voxel size convert it to vdb this is our dry ice now we need to add smoke elements so first i add first i add a node called point from volumes then i add pyro source so you can also achieve this settings in pyro source but point from volumes have lot of control so i prefer point from volume use point from volume i change this to 0 to 5 to add more detail to add lot of points and details then i add jitter scale to 1 something like this and scatter density to 5 then in pyro source i change this to source smoke and mood is keep input now my density and temperature are added now here i add a noise attribute but it's a, it is on cd i select position now here we need to change some settings first change noise type to alligator noise zero amplitude and decrease the element size to 0 0.35 amplitude to maybe 1 maybe 1 5 now here we need to add some animation but this is not working in alligator noise so we need to add this in offset okay but here we need noise in only y direction not in x and z so click on this and change y x to 0 and change z to 0 and y remain 1 and also in offset i also need on only on y not on z and x if i add this to offset it applies on all axes but i need on this so here i add dollar sign t multiply by 3 our animation look like this like boiling something little bit again add attribute noise now it's again apply on cd but now we need to apply this on density so density is a scalar not vector so change this to float and add a density click on this to show density now in density change this to min and max and change min value to something like negative 3 to add contrast and element size to something like 0.25 now here add animation and decrease false duration to 0 0.5 to add little bit speed now in final i don't want my density goes to minus 3 so in post process i check minimum to 0 now add a volume rasterize node nothing is showing add density and temperature and uh, here normalize the density we can connect this to our pyro solver and uh, change particle size to 0 0.75 decrease 
its size now add pyro solver and uh, copy voxel size and paste it relative reference because when i change this it automatically changes so when i play animation it look like this but we need dry eye smoke which is cold smoke and it goes down so we change the buoyancy to minus one change buoyancy to minus one then it goes down and uh, in bounding at close i close the y below then here add advection reflection and uh, our dry eye smoke is cold so change uh, cooling rate to half and change the dissipation value to something like 3 and check use control field Now we need to add our cup as a collision geometry. Add object merge node and uh, merge cup in here. Then add a collision source. Now it need uh, two points. This is main output geometry output and this is VDB. So add null, name it main, hold alt and drag it and name it VTB and connect this, this is our main and connect this is our VDB. Also connect the voxel size to the volume. Now add a merge node and connect this to the second input and uh, here show all. Now you see that our smoke is passing through this geometry. So first add uh, a blast node and uh, extrude front we blast the front part then add extrude volume and uh, uncheck this something like this actually we use this only for collision not for rendering Now our smoke are not passing in this geometry, our cup. But now it stay, it stay in the cup. Now here it need a force which will push this up from cup. First we will add some disturbance and turbulence. Now add our uh, disturbance to 1 and turbulence to 0 0.15 and in turbulence swirl size to 0 0.5 and uh, max octaves to 5. We need a force to push this smoke out from cup. Here we need add a divergence in sourcing. So remove this burn and flame because we don't need this and add a one node extra node and in sourcing copy density control C and control V paste it and target field to divergent. Our smoke is out from cup. But this force is very high. 
decrease it. Increase little bit resolution so it looks better. So I increase little bit of dissipation. Even I check it, decrease it more and check it. Okay, so if you decrease source scale, then thin smoke coming out, and if you increase it, then thick smoke. So I think it looks amazing. If you want to increase resolution only in viewport, add volume visualization. And uh, if your density field is empty, put density in here. Check max width and change this to 500 or 1000. Nice detail are shown only in viewport, not in rendering. For rendering, you want to increase this resolution if you increase the value the resolution decreases if you decrease the value the resolution increase for final resolution i use voxel size 0 0.02 now there is a detail also here but it's not shown so here we need to add light light and change this to distance light copy it again 180 change uh, this one to warm and change this one to cool light and decrease the warm light little bit some detail nice detail also shown here so now our dry ice smoke setup is ready now i jump to my previous project file now here I add a delete node and uh, I remove color and shop material from the smoke and also cache smoke out. By adding a file cache node, you can also use VDB or BGSEO, which are you want. Select your folder where you want to cache it, save to disk. Now here I also add a ground node and a camera. And uh, this is my environment light where I use an HDRI map. Which is also shown here. HDR I map then I add a distance light change it to Sun and Sun angle to 15 and uh, I also on only the cool light and half the warm light in materials I add a copper material this this is my copper material. This is our basic smoke, which is here. Drag and drop. And this is a principal shader for ground. For ground, I use this color. This is my roughness. 
and for basic smoke white and uh, shadow density to 0 0.5 if you want white smoke change it to 0 0.5 if you want little bit darkness and change it to 1 okay then I apply material here this is my copper material for smoke I use basic smoke and for ground I use principal shader in the output node I add a karma node something like this and in karma everything is default I change some settings because I have low spec PC so I change pixel sample to 5 and um, max ray sample to 4 and my camera is object camera 1 now um, this is the karma viewport you can also render it in viewport and uh, then I select my project folder I selected frames which I render some settings uh, like uh, in advance in driver image mode to bucket and in M play I enable M play monitor and uh, in uh, image output I add denoiser and then render to disk okay our video is final please subscribe my channel and if you like the video please thumb up see you in the next video goodbye